just a few days ago, we were out at White Sands National Park, playing on the dunes, in the sunshine. It's important to have a protective hat when you're in the desert. <laughs> and now the weather has taken a turn. It is cold and blustery. This week we're taking you on adventures to two different mountain towns. The first, Clodcroft, New Mexico. Where we played in the snow, among the beautiful pine trees. Then we're heading to Arizona, to the funky and colorful mountain town of Bisbee. Bisbee definitely wins for the most creative. With a really interesting history. It was one of the biggest finds of copper in the world. Oh, and we get to check out a couple old buses. This is exactly the type of bus that inspired us to look into MCI. This is an awesome bus. We could see it snowing yesterday up on the mountains. So we're heading out to the town of Cloudcraft for some fun. We're staying near Alamogordo, New Mexico at an elevation of 4,330 feet. Just 21 miles away is the mountain village of Cloudcroft. If you can see White Sands. Starting to get a little chillier up here. At 8,676 feet, it's listed among some of the highest towns in the U.S. We watch the train change with a few fall colors in the trees, then a little snow, then pine trees, and then even more snow. And here we are now in the adorable little mountain town of Cloudcraft in the snow. This is crazy. <laughs> This whole area is really cute. All the storefronts look like an old west town. Burrow Avenue, with its adorable old town feel, is a great place for some New Mexico shopping. Mel and I aren't big shoppers, but the old barrel tea and spice company seduced us with their aromas. There were not a lot of restaurants open on a Wednesday for lunch, but we found a dive bar that looked kind of interesting. A little side-by-side -side toilet action so you can poop next to your friend. Don went with a Reuben sandwich with hatch green chili. Eh, I'll not comment on my sandwich. Oh, it's cold. <laughs> oh, the, uh, there was a cat just ran behind you. I don't, I don't know. Not mad. I don't know if it was a kitty cat or a bobcat. Probably gonna go back and find it was just a kitty cat. Just saw the tail right at the end. It's so weird to be in snow right now. To go from this giant sand dunes in the desert to just 30 minutes away, snow in the mountains. It's refreshing though. It's like 40 degrees right now, but the sunshine makes it so much warmer. Well, on the Osha Trail here in the Lincoln National Forest, it's beautiful. So we were only up here in Cloudcroft just for a couple hours. We just wanted to run up and see the town. It's so cute and see the snow. I would not bring the bus up here though. The, <laughs> the incline was pretty steep and windy. Now the town has some pretty interesting history. It's solid. Okay. Whoa. 
So we're at the overlook at the Mexican Canyon Trestle. Back in 1899, they built a railroad coming up here because they wanted to mill these trees. This is the remaining part of the wooden structure that was the original railroad. It's a pretty interesting feat of engineering. I would have been scared to ride on it. Because there was a train coming up here, people started coming here to get away from the desert heat. And then once the automobile was invented, it made it a lot easier for people to come up and it became the tourist destination that it is today. Now the outlook is really cool because not only can you see the trestle from the railroad, you can also see white sands from here. It just looks like a completely white desert out there from it this vantage like point. Snow. <laughs> it looks because we're in the snow. But it looks like it's just snow as well, don't you think so? And on our way out, we thought we have to stop at the old apple barn factory. Take our fudge home. Okay. <laughs> and remember those sirens we heard earlier? Probably gonna be about a 20, 30 minute wait. Okay. Oh, wow. We're waiting on the helicopter. So. Okay. Just ran into a really bad looking accident. Makes you just realize these are dangerous roads. There's another way out of here, I guess? Maybe? <laughs> Maybe we're just going to go for a little ride in the uh, mountains here, have a little adventure. I'm very sorry for whoever got into that accident because it looked really bad. It's awful, but this is kind of a fun adventure. This looks like a really fun place to explore. This road we could definitely not do in the bus. So, oh goodness. Do you think we can go through that? Yeah. Whoa! That was a little slippery! That was a little slippery! Oh boy. That's not a road. No. That's a river. There's so much traffic out here, I'm not so worried about it anymore. Yeah. Except for those Ooh, rocks. Those guys. rocks falling. Oh boy. Oh boy. <laughs> I can't believe that guy. Jeez. He's not gonna make it through the the water? Yeah. Oh boy, another one. No, I'm paying close attention. In one thousand feet, turn left. Continue on. It says watch for water. Do you think this is a good road to take? It's been raining and snowing. Oh, goodness. I think it's just safer <laughs> to stay on a paved road. I mean, paved and sometimes underwater, yeah. <laughs> but not paved and underwater for sure. Oh, and we made it back home after that little adventure. Time to celebrate with some fudge. <laughs> now, while we've been here, we met a, a, a couple on one of the other camping loops, and they were getting ready to go, but they gave us all this wood, so we've been enjoying this fire here. You guys are out there. Thank you, guys. That was a fun little day trip. The weather's changing. So we're taking that as our cue to start losing some elevation and heading southwest. We'll be saying our goodbyes to New Mexico in the next day or two as we start to head into Arizona. Exciting. I'm kind of sad to leave New Mexico. I really liked it here and there's so much I want to see. I'm chilling now. <laughs> Every single night, the sunsets have been amazing here. It's different every single night, and every night it's beautiful in its own way. And I'm gonna miss this camp spot. I actually wanna spend more time here. And 
we are back on the road. There's more adventures to be had. We're heading to a harvest house for tonight. And it's a first. It's a golf course. We have arrived safely in Deming, New Mexico. We don't golf. I've never golfed. Uh, Don's done a little bit. He's messed about mostly is what he says. We're gonna go hit some balls. So are you gonna teach me a thing or two? I don't know. I don't know how much I know. <laughs> it's been so long since I've done any golf. Leg goes back. Then you follow through. Well, I would call that a success. We hit the ball 90% of the time. <laughs> Sometimes no it went in the right direction. <laughs> Nobody got hurt. We didn't hit anybody in the head. It's safe to say <laughs> we're not gonna be doing any professional golfing. Yeah, uh, it's a good thing the bus is parked that <laughs> way. The next day we crossed into sunny Arizona, heading to the town of Benson, hoping for warmer days. The day was super sunny, t-shirt and shorts weather, but the nights were dipping down cold. So, so much for escaping the cold weather. I guess this is pretty unusual. Thanks, global warming. But we're gonna leave the kitties in the bus nice and cozy today, and we're gonna take a little day trip to a mountain town in Arizona. Let's go. On Patreon, we have an adventure map where the Rehab Tribe can suggest places that they'd like to see us go or they recommend we go. Somebody recommended we go to Bisbee. It sounds right up our alley. I'm really excited. Bisbee's 47 miles from Benson, just past Tombstone. and sits at 6,000 feet above sea level, so not quite as high as we were in Cloudcroft. Bisbee, once a mining town, is now a hippie haven for arts, culture, and hospitality, with some remarkable historic architecture from the late 19th century. Bisbee definitely wins for the most creative doors. The historic district is the kind of area you can just wander around and see what you see. There's no shortage of unique sites. I wouldn't want to walk up those stairs every day to my house. It looks like it's barely staying there. It's gold in the shade. Come, let's go find sun. It turns out we had just missed the Bisbee 1000, the great stair climb. Bisbee is a unique town and it makes sense that it would hold a unique fitness challenge like this. A 4.5 mile course through the windy streets of Bisbee, including 1000 stairs. Unknowingly, we happened to pick the staircase with the most stairs in town, with 181 stairs. You gotta be really fit to live here. It just keeps going, honey. Now, we watched a couple videos on YouTube about Bisbee. One of our favorite ones, they said every time you see a set of stairs, just walk up it. So, we picked one. My goodness. This is a lot of elevation in a very short amount of time for these old legs. All right, it looks like we found a walkway to the Castle Rock view. So let's go check it out. Wow! 
So just to give you some context, this red building over here is the Castle Rock Inn that we were just walking by. We're pretty high up here. <laughs> There's just so many houses like compact in one space. It's very European-like. With the material some of these houses are made out of, it reminds me more of like uh, Southeast Asia. Look at this building here, an artist studio too. It's just like corrugated metal for the roof and walls and everything. It's crazy. And we've already seen like at least two artists just working on their artwork just as we've gone this tiny little walk so far. It's pretty cool. Didn't know we were going rock climbing today. <laughs> Wait, how did they get their cars up here? Right here. They drive up here? Yeah, they drive up here. I don't think we could fit our Jeep up here. I would not drive the Jeep up here. <laughs> While the streets were pretty narrow, each and every house was decorated with art in some form. We even spot an RV that was a work of art in itself. There was random art everywhere, plus numerous art galleries. Never mind the outrageously amazing stuff. There are a few things that we actually think we need to purchase, but I've noticed that it's frowned upon to just carry a beer out in the open, so I justified getting a <laughs> beer cozy today in Bisbee. We just found a very unique uh, Bisme olive oil shop. I, I love tasting olive oils, but this one is olive oil and vinyl. <laughs> How cool is that? We tried the bacon. Duh, gross. And then there was a white truffle garlic. It was very garlicky. I liked it. We just saw a poster and I thought, oh, this psychedelic poster is really cool. Maybe we'd call this guy and see if he could do some artwork on our Bisbee video thumbnail. Then we turned the corner and rammed into him. His name is Joshua Kidd. You have actually seen lots of his work. In the 60s and 70s, Joshua made a living as a band poster illustrator for Jimi Hendrix, The Grateful Dead, and Janis Joplin. I, uh, like I work for uh, Ridley Scott. I started my movie stuff in 1979. Okay. Then he, he got me for Blade Runner. I did a lot of Blade Runner stuff for him. And Prometheus. Now he's working on the new newest Mad Max movie. So you just never know who you're going to run into as you walk around. Town is so funky. <laughs> <laughs> With all the walking and stairs in this town, it is easy to work up an appetite, and the food options for a small town were marvelous. The screaming banshee did not disappoint with gluten free pizza, and the timey up pizza was unique and our favorite, just like you expect from a town like Bisbee. And of course, Don had to visit the pastry shop, which was again nothing you'd ever seen or heard of before. So, oh, I didn't even see We have see our croissant pieces here. We make all of our croissant in house. So, what did you get? A cruffin. What's a cruffin? <laughs> <laughs> Bisbee was founded as a mining town in 1880 and proved to be one of the richest mineral sites in the world, producing gold, copper, not to mention the silver, lead, and zinc that came from these rich lands. We are at the Lavender Mine. This is what made the town of Bisbee, and it was one of the biggest finds of copper in the world. They mined this hole for a hundred years, 
Got a total of about $6.1 million worth of metals. And it's enormous. I highly recommend if you visit, you bring layers because <laughs> It is so sunshiny. It's only like 50, maybe 55 degrees outside, but the sunshine makes it like, it's summer. It just kept expanding and expanding because I kept finding more and more and more copper. It got to the point that it came all the way up here to Erie Street. Erie Street is in the town of Lowell. The residential area was demolished to widen the copper mine. Losing most of the residents caused the businesses to fail. And now there's this little ghost town street. Now continuing on down Erie Street, there's some businesses it looks like, art gallery or two. They seem to have embraced how this Erie Street was abandoned by putting old cars on the street. Now there are some businesses here, but it's still got that Erie, like the name, Erie Street, an Erie effect with all these old vehicles. And this is what we're most excited to see. <laughs> Can you guess what it is? This is a Greyhound scene cruiser. This is an awesome bus and I think you're gonna see why. We can't go inside but we can show you the outside. You'll get a picture for what you could do if you were gonna convert this thing. It is converted. It is? Yeah. Look at how big these bays are. They might be bigger than ours. They are. And then what I love about it is how the roof at the front is a little short and then it's got a roof raise, but that's the way it was built. It's awesome. I wouldn't convert that to drive it around, but how cool. It'd be really awesome to have one of these to just convert as a house. <laughs> you, I wouldn't want to drive it around. So many things could go wrong. And right across the street, there's another MCI. This is exactly the type of bus that inspired us to look into MCI. And we didn't get exactly what we wanted, but it was this. This aluminum siding. We just love it so much, but we, we love our bus. Don't get me wrong. I think we got the right bus. But this is just so pretty. <laughs> With all these old cars and old buses and how they've got some vintage signs up on these buildings, this abandoned street almost looks like it's a movie set. Now we heard about Shady Dell and we had to come check it out. It's vintage trailers that you can rent and stay in. Honestly, Don and I kind of have a dream of doing something like this, converting a bunch of old trailers and renting them out. But I mean, I don't know, after finishing the bus, I'm not sure if we'll ever do that. Maybe someday. <laughs> we were hoping that we could talk to a manager or owner and maybe he'd show us around a little bit but there's like nobody here. It almost looks like it's abandoned too, except we did find some guests who are staying here tonight, so. <sighs> I'm tired from the day. Yeah, it was fun, but it was tiring. But now we got a cruffin we need to try out. We wouldn't leave you hanging like this. I just learned about this. A cruffin is a Muffin made with croissant dough. Oh, that's so this what it is? Cruffin has some kind of a marshmallow, a caramel, and a dried apple on it. Oh my goodness. Anybody else ever heard of this thing? I've heard of a cronut, not a... What's a cronut? A donut made out of croissant dough. Really? Yeah. I've never heard of these things. <laughs> I don't know what kind of world you're living in. You're just gonna shove it in your mouth? Well, I don't really know. I think that's what you gotta do. You just gotta take, take a oh bite of it. Oh my goodness, it's filled with a <gasps> custard or something else. Oh my goodness. It's all coming out the bottom. Mmm, <laughs> very tasty. <laughs> Is the Cruffin the winner of what? the food today? They were all winners. Yeah. I enjoyed everything. Cloudcraft or Bisbee? <sighs> Bisbee. For the color, the character, the food we had was great. Yeah, the food definitely won in Bismi compared to Cloudcroft. The Cloudcroft nature, the pine trees. Oh, that was amazing. Yeah, I'd have to agree. They're both so different, but 
Bisbee just based on nothing than just purely like wanting to spend more time there. Like I, I wanted to hang out in Bisbee longer. Yeah, um, one thing we might not have captured even is as we were walking around, bands were loading in at all these different restaurants and places. Yeah. There was gonna be live music. Um, that would have been fun to hang out. 